Greetings, Master Neloth. I hope this is important. I am Selsas, Lawman of Tel Sul. Master Sul told me a great deal about you. Who? Oh, him. May I ask what it is you're doing here? I was originally on my way to see Master Ren. Met my friend here on the way, and I've been traveling with them since. So I suppose they are the one to ask. It's been some time since I was last in Lothanis. Why? Did something interesting happen? Master Sul was assassinated. Morak Tong. Dead? Well, that's annoying. Although, from all indications, he could have proved a serious nuisance, so... Your compassion is greatly appreciated, Neloth. I can tell you are truly heartbroken at this revelation. Sul, in fact, has some choice words for you if I ever ran into you. Really? When this is over, you'll have to tell me about it. This being? First, it's Ash Spawn attacks. Then my home withers. It's almost like someone is out to get me. The great Master Neloth has enemies. I never would have thought it. I'll take my leave then. Perhaps we speak again once you have your problems sorted out. Well, yes, of course. I expect every master of House Talvani to know each other. It is inevitable. You have to have been a member for years before there is even a slim chance for you to become a master. By that time, you'll likely interact with most upper members of the house. I am not surprised that Neloth did not know of Sul's pen, however. He's been on Solstheim since the beginning of the Fourth Era. Neloth is quite detached from the rest of House Talvani and people would prefer to keep it that way. I can only imagine the chaos if he came back to Morrowind proper. I imagine he'd be vying for that Archmagister position, and believe me, there are a lot of people who would not want him in that position. Things would get very bloody very quickly. The material damages of such a conflict would be far greater than Skyrim's Civil War. Best not to think about it. <laughs>